Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm gonna try to film this video in one go and not take too long because it's already just about eight o'clock at night. And I have to wake up at like five in the morning for work. So I have a Denman brush. I don't know why I'm excited to try this, but let me pose for a thumbnail. Now, again, I'm gonna try to film this before like anyone comes home because <laughs> my family is embarrassing a little bit. Let's just get into the video. I'm talking too much. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some co-wash in my hair. I don't have time to be washing and conditioning my hair. It's not that type of party tonight at all. I don't know if it's lot of body or load of body. Um, I'm just gonna say lot of body. It's with coconut and shea oils and it's called Cleanse Me Co-Wash. You still can't see it, but you get the idea. I'm gonna take my spray bottle and wet my hair. Now, I'm gonna try this in different sections of my hair because the back of my hair is more loose. The middle of my hair is very, very rough. Well, like this top section here is more defined. Yeah, so I'm gonna try it on all three and we'll see what happens. Um, I usually start with this side but I, you probably can't see it now, but it's a bit thinner, I would say, in the back and more loose. Put like this much. This is the back of my hair. It's very, very loose, but it's not necessarily defined. The more defined part is like up here. But let's see. I'm gonna take my Denman brush. Let's see. Okay. I'm just gonna. <laughs> okay. I'm feeling like this doesn't have enough slip to like actually like clay out my hair. I don't know if a Denman brush is supposed to like clay your hair. Or it's just for when your hair is already clear and you want to define it. Bitch, the fuck ah. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my. What? No. No. I have to look at this in the mirror. Do y'all see that? D Hold on. Like, I don't know if the lighting is good enough. Let me, okay. <laughs> look, look at that, look at it, look at it, look at it. Look, 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 look. Look, look, like y'all ain't, look, look, look. Okay, so just, just again, so you guys can see, like, the back of my hair is very, very loose. So, we're going to have to really put this brush to the test further up the line. Where my hair is, like, real, real kinky. But, I mean, just look at that. Look, look at that one, just, and I could never really get the back of my hair, like, this defined. But we're gonna see further up my scalp where my fussy hair really, really is. As you can see, this is definitely more kinky because it's not like it's wet, but it's not even like falling down. It's poofing up. So let's get into it. Need a lot. Um, well, let me see if I maybe finger detangle a little bit. If that'll help with something. Or maybe this is too big of a section. Let me try a smaller section. Smaller section, more product. That might be a little better. Okay, we have a little 
a little whoop de whoop brush is still like a tad bit rough on my hair but it's not as bad it's like curling up like a little like there's like a little like bump at the end I don't know if you could really see it maybe if I had a mask or something I don't know but okay let me just see on the the ends alone because I already just take some more product put it down here let's See, like there's a little like whoop de whoops at the end, but mm. I probably might have to try it in a different circumstance. Like maybe if there was gel on my hair, I don't know. I'm really trying to give it the benefit of the doubt. There it is. There it is. There's like some at the end, but not really like throughout my whole hair. Okay, now I'm gonna come back when I reach the top. Okay, so what I am gonna do because this demo brush is taking like way, way, way too long, I'm just gonna clear it out first with a, a regular comb because I don't have the time to be sparing. If this was a Sunday, I definitely would. Okay, I haven't looked at it yet. Doesn't feel necessarily defined, but okay. I feel like I have to like lather this in product. Okay, at least I can comb it all the way down. But to say like it's defined, um, maybe more product. Well. Okay, that's that's one curl one let's try the next side let's just try let's just try let's just try because the right side of my hair is always more curly okay now I put a lot more product so what I'm gonna do is clear this out with a bigger comb because that demon brush is taking too long this is me lathering it in product with no denman brush A little bump so like it's cleared but no diamond brush and it still has some kind of something with Denman brush but again this is just a co-wash maybe if I had a um, I wonder how this would react to a wash and go. Okay, see? There's a little curl, but I have to... There's like tiny little curls at the end. So like you really, really got to put in work with this brush on Fossey hair. This is the part of my hair that is actually Pinky, but still curly in a sense. It's weird. I don't. I don't know. But <laughs> okay, okay. I guess it's this is more like the loosest top half of my hair, but not really loose because it's still very very rough. <sighs> Ay, ay, ay. Okay. So Okay, 
Yeah, that's better. Let me go in the shop. Okay, so I'm back after I washed my hair. Um, so right quick because I'm tired, I need to go to sleep. Uh, my reviews on the Denman brush. First off, I feel like it's definitely better suited for looser um curl patterns um but for c no and it's obviously not the denman brushes fault for c hair is extremely extremely kinky it has no curl pattern so you can't really expect too much from the brush because that's asking the brush to like literally change your entire curl pattern and a brush is not gonna do that i knew that it probably wasn't going to bring much definition and that's okay but my opinion is my opinion and mine alone. It's not gospel, it's not fact. So if you want to know or just personally get the experience of the Denman brush, you can spare the money. It's, it's a little bit on the expensive side for a brush, but it's not outrageous. So if you can, go ahead, purchase the brush. I don't know, and just get the experience for yourself. But me personally, I don't see myself using it on my falsy hair. Like, as a staple part of my wash day, I don't see myself doing it. I don't see myself incorporating it into my routine. I would much rather use, um, what is it that I used before? The scalp massager or finger detangle because the Denman brush was very time consuming. It was a little rough. I have to like, do it in small sections to like actually smoothen the process. I don't like that because you know what you got time for all of that, really. I was impressed though. I was very much impressed, might I add. I should add that. I was impressed when I did the first section in the back and in the front hair. I was not expecting that kind of um, curl definition. I was expecting something, but not that. So I was impressed. But again, I don't see myself using it often. And that's okay. You know, you win some, you lose some. Okay, so um, that was my review of the Denman brush. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys liked it. And look forward to more videos when I'm not sure. But be patient. Patience is key. And that's it. Bye. I have to stop doing this, but I won't because I love to. Oh, peace, so. joy. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Bye.